Hello my friends. In this exciting lecture we're going to provide an introduction to social learning theory. As we prepare to embark on this journey, I'm Dr. Dog, uh, the original Dr. Dog, spelled with a D-A-W-G. Uh, in order to guide our discussion, I've added this quote down here. It says, be careful who your friends are. You will pick up their bad habits. And that was a direct quote from my grandmother who must have been an early proponent of social learning theory long before Bandera developed it. Now, you may ask yourself, what is social learning theory? In order to understand this, we want to lay out several concepts. Albert Bandura is considered the father of social learning theory. Albert Bandura came uh, forward in a time when uh, the behaviorists were, were talking about operant conditioning and all those things and how by uh, punishment and reward and this, that, and other, you can uh, affect the environment which controlled how people acted and all of those things. And Albert Bandura conducted an experiment known as the Bobo Doll Experiment, and he examined uh, aggressive behavior in children. Very interesting uh, uh, experiment that he did. He's very famous for it. Go out sometime on the internet and search the Bobo the Doll Experiment in Albert Bandura. In short, what Albert Bandura noted is that humans will replicate observed behavior. And social learning theory is the idea that people learn by watching what others do. Social learning theory views learning as a self-directed and internal process. Now this is in contrast to the, to the behaviorist who believe that learning is brought on uh, externally by the environment. Uh, Bandera saw this as a cognitive decision, self-directed, internal, where a person observed behavior and chose to replicate it for various reasons. Social learning theory proposes that people will imitate behaviors that help achieve desired outcomes. In other words, social uh, learning theory is about observation. It's about uh, modeling behaviors that help an individual get where an individual wants to be. Now, consider this picture just a minute. Here we have a child. Might be an adult. We have another one, another one, another one, another one, and another one. Now, I want you to notice where they're all over on the same side. Here we have what might be called a herd. Humans herding together. Uh, brings a lot of peace to mind, doesn't it? I don't know if any of y'all saw the old movie I, Robot, but the robots were, were not programmed to have herding instinct, and lo and behold, <laughs> they suddenly appear in a, in a boxcar over huddled together. Uh, that was a direct uh, reference to Bandera's social learning theory, which says that humans want to be part of the herd. They want to belong. They want to fit in. And humans will observe behavior that causes them to fit in, and they will many times replicate that behavior, imitate the behavior of others, and master it so that they belong. Now, what does this picture say to you? Here's one, here's one, here's one, here's one, here's one, and there's one. I, I would imagine that for you, this, many of you, this may bring about some sad memories of being excluded from the group. Uh, none of us wanted to be the last uh, one picked when, when they chose sides. All of us wanted to belong to the herd. Now, as you look at this picture, you may think about children. Well, these could very well be adults. You might think, well, if they're adults, they're young adults. These could be very old adults. Everyone wants to belong and to be excluded from the herd, excluded from the group, is, is indeed very painful. Now, I want to I show you some of the theories that social learning theory is founded on, some of the fine guiding principles. The first of these is that people learn by observing others. Let's go back to this picture just a minute and look at this. This one may have been excluded. This one may have just come on the scene. This one may be isolated because this one is different than many, most of the others in the other group. But what is likely going on here, if this is a real condition where someone has just come on the scene or someone has been excluded, is that the individual over on the right, this, this one right here, is observing these to determine how, uh, how behavior must be modified that the person, the, this one might become part 
of the herd. Now, so people learn by observing others. Now, here's another great concept of social learning theory, and that is that learning is an internal process that may or may not change behavior. Now, don't let that slip by you too quickly. Learning is an internal process, not an external process. This flies directly in the face of the uh, views of the behaviorists. Bandera says people learn by observing others, and learning is internal, and that that internal may or may not change behavior. Now, people behave in certain ways to reach goals. Very great concept of social learning theory, and behavior is self-directed. Now, if learning is internal, then behavior is self-directed and might also be internalized. In other words, Bandera said people act and, and behave in certain ways based upon behaviors that they observe and their determination that those behaviors will help them achieve desired ends and desired goals. And then he notes that reinforcement and punishment have unpredictable and indirect effects on both behavior and learning. This is, this is a message to the behaviorist out there who believed in an operant conditioning and reinforcement and punishment. And Bandera says, you know, well, while that may work in some cases, it often has unpredictable and indirect effects on both behavior and learning. So I want you to review these real quickly. People learn by observing others. Learning is an internal process that may or may not change behavior. People behave in certain ways to reach goals. Behavior is self-directed. And reinforcement and punishment certainly have unpredictable and indirect effects on both behavior and learning. Now, now what may be happening here? Let's go back and let's talk about this just a minute. This individual here may be observing the group. And this individual certainly enjoy, uh, probably desires to join the group, and the individual is considering what behaviors that are being practiced by the group that will allow the individual to join the group and to reach the goals and objectives that the individual has. I want you to remember that the individual who is observing the group is internalizing those thoughts the individual is making internal, self-directed decisions as to which behaviors will be modeled and why. That those internal decisions are motivated by the desire to belong and to reach a goal. Now, joining the herd, isn't that cool? Suddenly the individual has gone from here to here. The individual has modeled the behavior, the individual now uh, joins the herd, and everything is fine. Just in closing, I want to make several observations. One of these is that all humans want to belong to the herd. This is kind of an underlying concept of social learning theory put in my own words. Individuals want to belong. The desire to belong is a powerful motivator to cause someone to internalize behavior and replicate that which is modeled. And observations helps learn how to join the herd. We want to belong. The desire to belong is powerful. And observation is a tool that helps us learn how to join the herd. In closing, I want to thank you very much for your patronage. As always, uh, you help keep my family fed. Appreciate you. Uh, uh, may the odds be ever in your favor. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart, of course, unless we're in the same event. Then may the odds be ever in my favor. You have a blessed day.